I have my fair share of hours played in Call of Duty. Oh my God. But one thing I've never done is unlock a Call of Duty Platinum Trophy. So with the upcoming release of Modern Warfare 3, a game that I'm sure will be fantastic with absolutely no issues at all whatsoever because Call of Duty has a history of putting out smooth, complete products every year. Stop the cap. <laughs> I decided to go back to my roots and relive my Call of Duty glory days by unlocking the Platinum Trophy for the best Call of Duty ever made, Modern Warfare 2. Wait, no, not that one. That one's terrible. The real MW2. Perfection. We start our journey to the MW2 Platinum Trophy is Private Allen. After doing a quick weapons demonstration for some local militia, we're called by the one and only General Shepard. Me when I see General Shepard 14 years later. Hey, bro, you champion! <laughs> Before preparing to do the typical time training course that COD campaigns insist on making you do, I realized something. I can end this all right here, right now. I can save Ghost. We can end the game right here, guys. <laughs> Wait, no, there's a trophy for that? Kill Shepard, no way. <laughs> That's hilarious. I then proceeded to run the training course, and my first time didn't go well. I'm redoing it. Regular? Nah, we gotta redo it. And while my second time did go a little better, I was still going to need a faster time for a trophy I needed. But more on that later. That was a little better. All right, hardened. All right, you know we gotta do it on veteran. And something you guys gotta understand, all right? Back in Rebirth Island, I was a, I was a 3-4 KD player, all right? I was that guy. I was him. I was the one who knocks. You now you and your boys are chilling in top prison, all four of you. And I slide cancel in there. You know what I'm saying? Bunny hop. All right. I was him. I think I can handle some AI. All right, Anna. Back in the saddle. Let's go, baby. Help train the local militia. After crushing the training course, Shepard recruits us into Task Force 141, a multinational counter terrorist organization. We then find ourselves on our first real mission in an Afghan town, where we would get our first taste of COD veteran difficulty. After unlocking a trophy for killing three enemies with a single shot from a grenade launcher. Solid copy. <laughs> uh, threesome and a trophy for killing two enemies with a single bullet whoa, whoa. two birds with one stone what was that kill two enemies with a single bullet okay I, i'm confused i find myself in my first boots on the ground enemy encounter and let's just say it was humbling Woo. i'm still him And that's when I realized I'm in for a ride. I got through the rest of the first mission fairly easily, only racking up one more death in the process. I started to realize I have to treat every single gunfight as if I'm fighting that four stack that used to camp in grandma's house on Rebirth Island. By the way, if that was you, you're a little bit. After eradicating the rest of the Afghan forces, we earned a couple of trophies. Okay, two deaths, first mission, we're good. Danger close, got another trophy. Get handpicked for Shepard's Elite Squad. All right, all right. First day of school. Complete SSDD and team player on veteran difficulty. I'm with it. We then cut to our friends Roach and Soap, who are infiltrating a Russian mountain base to recover an ACS module. This is my, okay, this is my favorite mission in the game. Seriously. Um. I wasn't paying attention, I'm not gonna lie. After climbing the mountain and breaking out our handy dandy heartbeat sensor, Wait. Son of a bit. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. At this point, they're the only reason I'm not drowning in crippling credit card debt. Unless you were born yesterday, surely you've heard about Raid Shadow Legends. Raid is one of the best mobile games out there with over 700 playable champions, an incredibly detailed RPG battle system, and plenty of PvE and PvP content. But what you didn't know is that Raid now has one of the toughest bosses ever. Hydra. But this isn't just your typical boss. What makes Hydra so hard is that it's made up of six different heads, each one being a boss battle of its own. First off, you have the Head of Blight. This guy is all about poison. A lot like Call of Duty. 
poison to your mind and your soul. Next, you have the Head of Torment. This one's main goal is to instill fear into the hearts of your champions. I hear he may even try to make you watch all eight episodes of She-Hulk in one sitting. It's freaking terrifying. We also have the Head of Mischief, the Head of Wrath, the Head of Decay, and the Big Bad Main Head, the Head of Suffering. But not only can you take on Hydra, you can also participate in Hydra Clash, an all-new clan-based competition where you face off against other clans to see who can give it to Hydra the hardest. And even if you're a brand new player and you've never played Raid before, you can actually get your hands on Stagnite, one of the best champions in the game. You'll also get a really dope skin form too. All you have to do is log in and use promo code JTSKIN before October the 7th. With all of this exciting content coming to Raid, what are you waiting for? Use my link in the description or scan my QR code to get some really cool bonuses like the champion Talia, free energy refills, XP booster, and more. Also, Raid and I set a goal of 150 installs from this promo alone. So I'm gonna need at least 150 of you guys to go and install Raid. It's free, the game is fun, and you'll have me feeling like 2016 Cleveland LeBron. Also, if I don't hit the goal, I'm probably going to lose the house. So hit that link in the description, install Raid now, and let's hit that goal of 150 installs. So just hit that link in the description and I'll see you out there, nerds. Before we can get the ACS module, we need to plant some C4 to cover our escape if needed. So we're gonna need a good amount of stealth. Luckily for me, after years of Assassin's Creed, stealth is my middle name. Oh God. I'm not, this is not the way. This is not the way. This is not the way, brother. This is not the way. This is not the way. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> after finally getting through without being detected, we plant the C4. But after recovering the ACS module, we got some unexpected company. So we have to go to plan B. Dude, the way they just turned on me, bro. And now it's time to escape via snowmobile, which is good because I'm what they refer to as a snowmobile expert. <laughs> of all this open space, I ran into a tree. Like, that's crazy. Ah, uh, cinema. Cinema. Let's go. Let's go. Cold shoulder. That's such a dope mission. And we got Black Diamond. The next mission I had the option of skipping because, well, we all know what mission I'm talking about. I don't want to be demonetized, so I guess to put it plainly, Private Allen goes undercover and does some not so pleasant things in an airport to gain the trust of the main bad guy, Makarov. My good friend Nick AR made the mistake of playing this mission on accident, but that wasn't going to be me. Yeah, I'm going to skip this. You will not be penalized in terms of trophies or game completion. I don't want to get demonetized, so we're going to skip. No rushing. Nick, if you're in here, I, I watched yours. I know what happens. But to be honest with you, I would almost rather do those unpleasant things in an airport before enduring what I had to endure in this next mission. We find ourselves in a Rio de Janeiro favela. Go ahead and drop that comment, pronunciation police. We're here tracking down Makarov's weapons dealer, Alejandro Rojas. And I quickly learned in this favela what Call of Duty veteran difficulty is really all about. My God, bro, let me react. What? What? Not the pupper, bro. Not the pupper. Bro, I have killed you! I killed you! No prisoners. During this mission, you pretty much have to take it one group of enemies at a time and constantly be moving because new enemies will spawn in. Things were going pretty bad, but I was making it work until I got to this one group of enemies where I died a lot. No. What? What? Bro, I didn't even peek him. At one point, I was having some Verdansk 2020 PTSD because it felt like I was getting hacked on. They're literally, they just have aimbot, bro. It's like I'm playing, it's like I'm playing Verdansk 2020. That's what this is like. Aimbot everywhere. I cannot stress enough how miserable this mission was. Just look at this and it's all you'll need to know. Three deaths and many kills later. Got him. We finally made it to the end of arguably the worst level in the game.
Wait, three points in there too? Three point Nick showed up earlier. I don't think Nick's in here anymore, but. Oh, I'm like a trophy. The story now brings us back to a suburb in northeastern Virginia, where the 75th Ranger Regiment is fighting off a Russian invasion. Sergeant Foley, Corporal Dunn, and Private Allen's replacement, Private James Ramirez, are in search of a high-value target that supposedly has important intel. But first, I made an important discovery. Did y'all see that bunny hop? You can bunny hop better in this than uh, the new Modern Warfare 2. Look at that. Y'all saw that? No way. As I was fighting off Russian paratroopers, I unlocked a couple of trophies, like this one for killing 10 enemies with one Predator missile. 10 plus foot mobiles. Kill at least 10 enemies with one Predator missile. <laughs> Funny. And this one for killing six enemies in a row with a thermal weapon. Some like it hot. God, these trophies are easy. And a sprinkle of that typical Call of Duty veteran timing along the way. Move, move, move. I think we can move. Okay, or not. Royale with cheese. And then one more, I believe. No? Okay. We then cut back to Task Force 141 in the favela, still trying to escape. And personally, I was still emotionally recovering from the last favela mission. We start out fighting a huge group of militia, and it was giving me a good bit of trouble. All right, got past... And believe it or not, that was actually my last death of the mission. I went on through the favela, killing any enemy that dared to step in my path. Kill the chickens. Eventually, we make our exfil via dramatic helicopter jump off a rooftop that would never actually happen in real life unless you're Tom Cruise. Turistas. We then find ourselves back with Sergeant Foley and the crew, still looking for that high value target in a suburb of Virginia. It started off great. I'm dead, I'm dead, bro. What? I just got here. You freaking like what? Are, what are you doing for your team there, bud? Like what? What? What are you contributing? But the good news is we did find our high value target. But the bad news is he isn't very high value anymore. Red Dawn. Let's go. After finding out from Rojas that Makarov's worst enemy, known as Prisoner 627, is locked away in a Russian gulag, Task Force 141 is given orders to infiltrate the gulag and free the prisoner. In the process of this endeavor, I had one of the lowest moments of my gaming career. There was this helicopter. In order to progress through the rest of the mission, I needed to destroy it. But the issue is, I couldn't find any rockets to destroy it. I even resorted to cooking a frag grenade because there was a trophy for that anyway, but I couldn't get the timing right. After racking up several deaths and a trophy, I came to a realization, and one I was not proud of. I literally just walked out. Can I use a, oh dude, I just realized I had a grenade launcher. I have a grenade launcher on my gun. I got a grenade launcher on my gun, bro. Nice work. Everybody shut up, okay? We then proceeded to infiltrate the prison in search of the mysterious prisoner 627. We beat some dudes with a riot shield <laughs> and found ourselves in a place all too familiar, the gulag. I thought he was, he was shooting from front of you. <laughs> Ooh. We eventually made it through a bunch of riot shielders and reached Prisoner 627's location, which turned out to be an old friend. Price, chill, bro. I didn't do it. Just Captain Price. God, I love seeing him. I love him so much. You know how painful that would probably be? What if you, like, or... Dude, you know what? I'm such an idiot. I played Warzone, Soap on a Rope, okay. Storm the Gulag, okay. And Prisoner 627. You know what? I'm such an idiot because I played Warzone in Verdansk for literally the two years that it was out, and I never realized that that was the prison. The prison on Verdansk was the prison in this game. Wow. I'm so smart, bro. From here, our main goal is to track down Makarov and end the war in America. So Task Force 141 finds themselves at a Russian port, trying to gain access to a nuclear submarine. This mission was almost just as bad as the favela. We're spotted. Go loud. Take them out. No, we're not. Calm down. Chill. Oh, okay. Okay, maybe we are, though. 
Okay. After unlocking this random trophy here, things got rough. I think the most infuriating part of this mission wasn't so much that I was dying, it was how I was dying. Nothing gets my blood boiling like an exploding vehicle. I'm so scared. 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 I died to a freaking vehicle. The end of this mission was also timed, which made matters even worse. At one point, I thought I had it in the bag. No, 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 no. It was cool though, because we got it done on the very next try. At this point, Price goes rogue as we fight off incoming enemy troops. To the rest of the task force's surprise, Price proceeded to launch a missile towards Washington, DC. I low key get it though. I spent a lot of time in the gulag as well. It does things to a man. You're up, soldier. Now go sort this. He detonated the missile in outer space, causing an EMP that took out electronics on both sides, giving the United States a slight advantage in the war. What do I think about COD right now? Uh, desperate times. Execute the plan to help the Americans. W. And ends justify the means. Complete contingency on veteran difficulty. Back in the US, Sergeant Foley and the crew were fighting to take back Washington DC to prevent the Air Force from carpet bombing the entire city. We fought and bled beside our brothers in arms. No! Was that, oh no, that wasn't done. Nah, never mind. He was just an NPC. But like all great American war stories, it ended with the good guys on top. After a tough battle and only a few deaths, we take back the White House and call off the airstrike to establish control over the nation's capital. Foley is, he's that dude, bro. He is that dude. Underrated Call of Duty character. Whiskey Hotel. I think we get one more. Yep. Homecoming! Complete of their own accord, Second Son and Whiskey Hotel on veteran difficulty. Let's go! And now, it's time for the mission that turned boys into men. The one that broke my little 12-year-old heart. What mission? This one. <laughs> oh, this is the mission, bro. Guys, wait, wait, wait. This is the mission. I'm not ready to relive this childhood trauma. Task Force 141 decided to split up and search for Makarov in two separate locations. This led Ghost and Roach to one of Makarov's safe houses, where they're trying to extract some vital intel from one of his computers. Things got real spicy real quick. What? What? Oh, just ghost, I'm so sorry. It's not your time yet. Corruption. Yet. As we are extracting the intel, I lay down some claymores and camp the top of the stairs in stereotypical Call of Duty player fashion. By the way, that reminds me, if you camped in any of these buildings in Verdansk, you're a little bit. After retrieving the intel, we narrowly escape with all of Makarov's men on our tail. And well, you know what happens next. You got it, sir. Good. That's one less loose end. Champion, bro. You this is where boys became men. No! Hold the left flank. Do not front I hate him. I hate him. I hate him so much. Champion, bro. You champion. Damn you, Shepard. Damn you, Shepard. The pawn. I don't even want it. I don't even care. Things just got personal. Sorry, I've always wanted to say that. We then cut back to soap and price in a boneyard in Afghanistan. Also a Verdansk POI. I never realized how many were actually in this game. Our goal here is to escape the boneyard while Shepard and Makarov's men battle it out. Now, you're supposed to ignore the fighting and try to engage with as few enemies as possible. And I, being the intellectual that I am, did not realize this because I am not actually an intellectual. I'm a dumbass. Uh oh, I wasn't supposed to fight him. I swear if I die. After contacting Makarov and offering to kill Shepard, Makarov gives Soap and Price his location, which is in an Afghanistan mountain base. So we narrowly escape the boneyard with our boy Nikolai and head that way. I think I died 20 times that mission. No, no it was really like 13. <laughs> Out of the frying pan. And Queen takes Rook. Let go, let go, let go. When it comes to our final mission of the campaign, Things got a little tricky. Soap and Price made their way through the mountain base in search of Shepard, taking out bad guys in typical Task Force 141 fashion. 
by order of the peaky fucking blinders. But the real challenge was when we actually found Shepard and had to chase him down via motorboat. Just when I thought the toughest part of this platinum journey was in the bag, I was quickly humbled. My God. This is gonna be terrible. I'm convinced that this mission is entirely RNG and there's really no method to the madness. You just die over and over and over again to things out of your control until you eventually get lucky. Or at least that's what I tell myself to make myself feel better. Post, please stop saying that, Jesus Christ. I don't even have a basement. You're in the guest bathroom, get it right. Shepard hops onto a chopper to make his escape, but Price, being the badass that he is, shoots it down. And after plummeting down a waterfall that we definitely should have died from, but you know, plot armor, it's time to take out Shepard once and for all. Come on! Anybody got some plates? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I need a stem and some plates, bro. Oh! Let's go! Where boys became men. Legendary. Cinema for real. <laughs> it never gets old. That joke will never get old. Woo! Come on, bro. Best campaign ever. For the record. Let's go. I think I get another one. Off the grid. I think I get one more. Yep. The price of war. Three trophies. Back to back to back. The dopamine filling my brain. With 29 out of the 51 trophies unlocked, we head into phase two, which will include all of the intel and beating the game without dying. There are 45 pieces of intel scattered throughout each mission of the campaign. My goal is to get every single one while attempting to beat every single mission without dying for the immortal trophy. Not gonna lie, gathering the intel was pretty boring. I think I'd rather watch something from MCU phase five than gather intel again in this game. And that's saying something, cause I mean, phase five has been shit. Going for the immortal trophy was a drag too, because I pretty much had to play the entire campaign over again. But to kick things off, I wanted to go ahead and knock out a trophy for beating the pit in under 30 seconds. No! I didn't get it though. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Pit boss, let's go. Run the pit in SSDD and finish with a final time under 30 seconds. Let's go. From there, I started running through the campaign, collecting intel and picking up a couple of trophies along the way. Alrighty, we got our last intel to grab right here for the trophy. Here we go. Leave no stone unturned. Let's go. Collect 45 enemy intel items. That was so boring. Now I gotta go back and complete like four different missions that I accidentally died on. Yeah, I somehow found a way to die four different times on Recruit. I hate myself. Considering I just beat the game on Veteran Difficulty, you would think I could get through the game on Recruit without dying. But sadly, that's just not how it works with me. Oh my gosh. Why? Why? Oh, it's Recruit! After reliving my childhood trauma again, I finally made it to the end. But... I ran into a problem. All right, finally got done with the last mission. Trophy should pop here. Um. Oh God, please no. I missed one, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I was pretty concerned here. There's no way to really know which mission I died on. So all I could really do is restart from the beginning of the game and run through every mission again without dying until I complete the one I missed. All I could do is hope that it was towards the beginning. Why do I do this shit to myself? So I then found myself back in the pit again, only to be welcomed with a pleasant surprise. Oh. There it is. Oh, bro, no. I remember what it was. I remember I restarted from checkpoint when I was trying to get that pit boss trophy. Oh, wow. Because you can't die and you also can't restart from a checkpoint either or, or the mission isn't going to count. Wow, I'm an idiot. And I have an erection. Now for the final phase, cleanup. I spent the next couple of days knocking out the rest of the miscellaneous trophies. Not gonna lie, I got pretty sidetracked during this time because I developed a crippling addiction to Halo Infinite again. The game is so good now, trust. Keep an eye out on the second channel, by the way, for a video soon, gonna be a banger. Anyways, these trophies were all pretty easy to get and nothing gave me too much trouble. 
I then found myself with only three trophies standing in the way of me and my 10th platinum trophy. All right, so we only got three trophies left here for the platinum. We got do not push this button. The student surpasses the master and clown in training. We're gonna do do not push this button first. That's ring the red bell in both rooms and survive the attack. So basically you just have to come in here and here's the first bell. I, honestly, I'm gonna be real with you. I have no idea what actually happens. I just know this is what you're supposed to do wait were they just moving okay oh my god oh my god wait 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 okay so i think we might need to might need to redo a couple things probably should have got a weapon first that was probably the better play all right, I'm going to... Oh my God, there was a dog? Oh my God! What, what is this? Dude, why do I not know about this? Is this like a remastered thing? I do not remember this in the original Modern Warfare 2. That was Shepard. That was for Ghost. Okay. <laughs> what is? What was that? Ah. Okay. Okay. All right. Run away. Oh, that's a juggernaut. That's a juggernaut. Jug? Since when? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. We're good. Shouldn't have too many left. Okay, no, never mind. Okay. There it is. Do not push this button. Ring the red bell in both rooms and survive the attack. All right, Foley, I've only been through this seven times now. This trophy, we gotta go over here and I think there should be a Barrett 50 cal sniper rifle somewhere. Where are you? There you are, okay. Oh, I think there's supposed to be like some clowns or something I have to shoot. Oh, how did I miss that? All right, there's the first one. The other one should be right over here somewhere. There it is. There's two and one more over here. There it is. Imagine I missed the clown in training. US Army Rangers ain't no place for clowns. I don't know why, but I read that in Sergeant Foley's voice. And that brings us to our final trophy. And oh boy, was it a doozy. Ironically, this trophy brings us back to the spot where this journey all began, the pit, again. But this time I had to beat the pit even quicker than I did before. For some reason, I was under the impression that I had to beat it in under 28 seconds. I have no clue why I thought that because I was sadly mistaken. Did I get it? Amazing work, dude. <sighs> okay, now that's how you run Wait, is it not 28 seconds? What's the, what's the thing? It's 19.7 seconds? Oh, brother, we're in for a ride. So now knowing that the time is 19.7 seconds, that was pretty demoralizing. I felt like an idiot because I actually thought I was going to get through a platinum without too much raging for once. Attempt after attempt, just when I thought I was getting closer to the goal of 19.7 seconds, I just start sucking, like Devin Booker in the playoffs. I'm getting worse. I'm getting significantly worse. I honestly don't know how many attempts this took, but it had to have been over 50. At one point, I was convinced it wasn't even possible. Come on. That was, that was golden. That was golden, bro. Amazing work, dude. Okay, now that's how you run the pit. Okay, head up, stick run. That was my best. That was all I had to give. I, 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 I gave everything I had. I was completely defeated.
I just, I just, you know, I, I'm just, I give up. I give up. And my frustration slowly turned into blood boiling rage that my wife was not happy about the next morning because I apparently woke her up in the process of screaming profanity at my monitor. Uh, oh, wait. But then something unexpected happened. Come on, that was it. That was the best one I've done. That was the best thing I've done. Point four five seconds off. Pain. And as always, just when I'm about to quit, I get a little taste of what the glory of success feels like, and I have to keep going. So I tried again and failed miserably. I just sold. I, I'm. And this time, I really was on the verge of calling it a night. Am I ever going to get this? And on my very last attempt, this happened. Oh, that, that's it. This is the one. This is the one. That's the one. That's the one. Oh, oh my god, I did it! 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 I got the platinum! Oh, let's go! Bro! If you enjoyed that video, be sure you drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. We're gonna platinum Elden Ring when we hit that goal. And if you wanna catch one of these platinum grinds live, be sure to come one of the streams right here on this channel on YouTube. And hey, if you enjoyed that platinum, be sure to check out this one next. Also, do not forget to use my Raid Shadow Legends link in the description or scan my QR code to get some really, really dope bonuses. Thanks once again to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video and for keeping me financially stable.